Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for staying with us. I'm Greg Floyd. Hi, everyone. I'm Liz Bishop. A local doctor is helping research a new drug that he says would be the newest Alzheimer's treatment on the market in more than a decade if it's approved by the FDA. And a woman in the study says it's really her only hope. Here's Emma Cloy. It started with forgetting things like where she put her car keys. I mean, I realized it myself, but I just thought it was, I didn't think it was anything big. You know, until it got worse and worse and worse. Then a doctor gave Cindy Matice shocking news a diagnosis of early onset Alzheimer's, despite no family history of the disease and the fact she's only 50 years old. Willing to try anything to stop the progression, Cindy volunteered to participate in a study for a possible Alzheimer's treatment. But if doctor can help me with this new drug, I'm definitely going to take it. It's the only hope you have, you know? It is the only hope. There is nothing really to cure this disease. Cindy's doctor, Richard Holub, has been involved in Alzheimer's research for decades and worked to develop the medication called RVT-101. The medication, uh, it, it is hopeful, uh, will improve attention and focus, memory and recall. Holub says so far the drug hasn't shown signs of side effects common in other Alzheimer's medications. And it's already passed two required testing stages. And now we're going to the last step, phase three. If a phase three program is strongly positive, then the FDA will consider the possibility of approving the medication so that physicians can write prescriptions for it. Cindy and her husband are hoping this is the drug that will help stent the progression of her symptoms. I want to remember our kids, my grandson. Well, the things that matter, the real things in life that matter. Anne McCloy, CBS 6 News.